Welcome back to Jeff Kunenge live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski. People checking into the hotel are about to scatter. They should know that the Grand Mullah is in the house. When Ahmed Nasir shows up, you know he's calling it like he sees it without fear or favor. Tweets coming in very thick, very fast. Frederick Okango, I think you just nailed it. You say the Grand Mullah is that guy who will say it repeatedly as it is without blinking. True that. Ahmed from East Lee, you said, is it possible for someone who doesn't recognize Uhuru Kenyatta's president to become CJ? Aha, uh -huh. that's our next topic, the CJ position. Because one of the people who have applied, you know this, is Makao Mutua, professor, who, whose CV and resume and um, qualifications are second to none. I mean, in terms of, uh, in terms of qualification, in terms of academic documents, in terms of, you know, gravitas, scholarship, in terms of uh, uh, legal uh, thinking, legal theory, I don't think there will be any candidate. And I know many people. I mean, I've taught at the university, I've practiced law, I know, I know everything in this uh, just There will be no candidate who will come even close to Makawa Mutua in terms of academic qualification. And yet, he may not get it. Uh, that I think uh, there's a good chance he may get it. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. You see, the, I mean, uh, I, um, the good thing about this is there's no doubt that Macau's application has set a very high standard. The bar is too high. So the JSC, in my view, will have a very, very interesting process. Mm. If they don't give him, they must give to a Kenyan who is more qualified. And, Macau. And, and looking and, at the and list, the good, and the good thing yes. is that this process is so transparent. It will be live on TV. Mm. Kenyans will see all this, mm. and when they see, you know, Macau's resume, Macau's work, and then you compare to all the candidates. Yes. If Macau is not treated fairly, the JSC will be destroyed. It will, huh? Absolutely. Because uh, judging from the other candidates who've applied, I mean, we're talking about former Speaker Ken Morande. He's applied. Uh, uh, Supreme Court Justice. Uh, Smoking, Wanjala. Yes, I mean, smoking in terms of scholarship will run second to Mutua. I mean, he has taught the university. I mean, he has uh, written a lot. Yeah. He has taught a lot. Yeah. He is a man who is brilliant. I mean, in terms of, he is, uh, he is amazing in terms of his. He is one of the few guys who speak very good English and write even better. Really? Yes. But he can't match Macau right now, pound for pound. No, he can't, he can't. I mean, Macau is a uh, heavyweight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the scenario... Oh, by the way, a lot of people were asking on Twitter, they were asking, why didn't the Grand Mullah apply? No, well, you know, I, I've told Kenyans many times that, I mean, I, I played a big role in uh, reorganizing the judiciary right from the days when I was chairman of Law Society. Mm. I mean, I played a big role in uh, the radical surgery. Uh, I played a big role in the first JSC in terms of who becomes. I mean, once you play a role like that, I mean, it is silly of you, really, if you apply to those positions. I mean, it will look like you have been doing all this. You have eliminated all the competition yes. all along yes. so that you occupy. I mean, the same things with the with the with the with the anti-corruption commission. When I was chairman, you know, we. I mean, I people don't know that, but I am the one who employed Ringer and, so, and smoking and many others. So once you play a role in creating an institution, uh, it is not proper for you to go and occupy a place. And I've said many times that if it comes to the Key Anti-Corruption Commission or the judiciary, I will never apply for any position. Never? Never. But then, you know, a lot of people ask, a Supreme Court's, a, a, I'm sorry, a Chief Justice's role, other than being President of the Supreme Court, what does the Supreme Court do, you know, in a few words? What, what, what does a Chief Justice do, sorry? I mean, the, the Chief Justice, he runs the judiciary, you know, literally. I mean, right from the magistracy to the Supreme Court. I mean, he's, uh, I mean, he's the head of the judiciary. I mean, he, it's a very powerful. I mean, it's like, I mean, he, I mean, he runs a whole arm of government, the judiciary, exclusively, you know. I mean, it's a very, it's a powerful institution. And you wouldn't want that? No, no, no. no. Would Snokin do a good job? Yes, if he's given, it's a good job. I have known smoking for 24 years. What about Attorney General? Some people say that I, he... I don't think he's applying. I mean, he hasn't... I, I don't think he's applying. Deadline is Friday. There's still a couple of days. From what I hear, he's not applying. 
But if he applies, I mean, I, I don't sit in the JC. I mean, people will judge him on his record. Yeah. And I think the only question people should ask him is, what have you done as Attorney General? Mm. And he will have very difficult answer. Although it's a simple question. Yes. When he's asked, what have you done as an Attorney General? He has no answer. He has yeah. done nothing. There are also two other judges who were forced to retire. You know this better than I do. Philip Tunoy and uh, Kalpana Rawal. So the Supreme Court is pretty, it's walking on one leg basically. Yeah? I mean, actually, it's a good opportunity in a way. We are reconstituting the Supreme Court afresh. Uh, and why we must get the process right is look at the difference in terms of how Willy Mutunga retired and how Rawal retired. Willy retired one year earlier. He <laughs> said, you know, me, I want to retire one year earlier so that the Kenyan people can appoint a chief justice. There is election in 2017. I want to leave the court in safe hands. Rawal, on the other hand, she has reached the 70 years on 15th January. She was told to go. She has refused. She gets an injunction here, an injunction there, an injunction there, and she, re and she refused yeah. to leave. So can you... The process is so important that we must get it right. If we don't get it right, we will have another Rawal. We will have another Tunoy. People who will play games. And it is very critical that the JEC gets the right candidates for this position. Yeah. So, with Tunoy being forced to resign, does that... By, by the way, he yeah. served two years. He, has, he got salaries for two years. I, I'm sure they will recover from his pension. But he served two years extra. <laughs> than the 70 years. He retired at 72. You're kidding me. So he has, he, uh, he has taken about the 30 million shillings of the Kenyan people. Plus the 200 million from Kidero, <laughs> allegedly. Come on. But that, you know, those, those are the kind of judges we have been fighting all our life. You know, some of us have dedicated our life to, you know, when we started the radical surgery, when we ensured that none of them will become chief justice or go to the Supreme Court, people thought we were unfair. But, I mean, we were dealing with worse characters. To know he was mild, my friend. Are you serious? Was this. Huh? To know he was mild. <laughs> there are rogues out there. There are rogues. They are not there. We removed them. But the I mean, uh, Kenyans should appreciate how how radical the Kenyan judiciary has been transformed. So the question begs, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give former Chief Justice Willy Mutunga? What would you give him for his tenure, for his work, for his... No, I'll give him 7. 7. Yes, he has done well. I mean, uh, he could have done w better, but you know, I mean, he's a mild guy. He's not like me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the circumstance, he has done very well. Yeah? Yes, yes. Is there a lot of pressure for his successor? Yes, yes, yes. That his successor will... Ha you see, Willie came as a transition candidate. Mm. I mean, he was transiting from the old judiciary to the new judiciary. And when you have a transition, I mean, there's all kind of wars and all kind of fights. You know, we had the Shule fight. Yeah. We had, uh, what was her name, Baraza, mm -hmm. Nancy Baraza. We yeah, had yeah. Uh, to, to, this, all these. I mean, uh, there's a time the president disbanded the whole of the JAC. So there was all this because, I mean, the government was fighting the judiciary. Yeah. I mean, there's no doubt about yeah. that. I mean, it was a full scale, it was a Fallujah situation, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all out war, all out of vicious, you know, hound, I mean, hand combat. <laughs> yes, yes. So, but the guy who succeeded him, I mean, uh, will now build on that. I mean, there's a lot of precedent that now the judiciary is very independent. The judiciary has fought a lot of wars with the government and won many wars. Uh, so I think there's a good way to build, but it's important to get the right candidate for this. Yeah, yes, yes. And, and with an election a year away now, I mean, we're, we're literally a year away. Yes, yes, I mean, they, I think the process will start in a month's time, and uh, uh, in two months' time they will settle on one candidate, and then uh, parliament will do take this process. And then reconstitute the other, I mean, get two other justices, remember? They will do the same time. I mean, I mean, they have uh, all those three positions, you know, the Chief Justice, the Deputy Chief Justice, and the Judge of the Supreme Court, they are recruiting at the same time. And uh, one thing that I think that Kenyans should be, uh, should know is that the JC is a good body. I mean, they are men and women of integrity. I've been there myself. Yes. I know most of them. I mean, they are incredible uh, in terms of their independence. Of course, there are some uh, who are love dogs of 
uh, certain na narrow interests. Yes. But the majority of them are men and women of impeccable integrity. And I'm sure they will get it rightly and they will pick the right candidate. Yeah. Whether it's Mukawa Mutua or another person. <laughs> Let's come back to Ahmed from Isili's question. Yes, yes. A man who does not recognize the president of the Republic of Kenya as the president, he calls him Mr. Kenyatta. No, no, but you see, the beauty about this is that uh, Uhuru does not need people to recognize him. Yes, yes. Uhuru was elected by Kenyans. His election was challenged in a constitutional court. The Supreme Court said that he was validly elected. Why do you need someone to recognize? I mean, if someone doesn't recognize me as a lawyer, I mean, does it matter really? Yeah. I mean, Uru, Uru is too big for that. I mean, uh, Macau has a lot of crazy ideas in terms of his political uh, view or orientation. He's entitled to. Whether he recognizes Uru or not is neither here nor there. I'm sure if, Uru, if he gets this job and Uru will uh, sway him in the state house, he will recognize him <laughs> as the president. Yes. Do you think, is there a chance he could get this job? Or is it like a snowball chance in hell? No, no, I think there's a good chance, why not? I mean, the guy went to Nairobi University, Dar es Salaam, mm -hmm. he did his LLM at Harvard, mm -hmm. he did his doctorate at Harvard, he taught at Harvard. Uh, the first he, African to be what? The law school, I mean, uh, dean of the law school, I mean, the first black to be a dean in New York State, and New York is, you know, such a progressive uh, state. Mm. So, I mean, he has a good chance. Don't count him out. I mean, and the most important issue in the process for the JC is, if you have not given Macau or Motua this job, you must explain to Kenyans that the candidate we have given is much better than him. For example, Macau has uh, 85 pages resume, then you, CJ, must have like 100, 105. <laughs> Macau has sent like, uh, I mean, 25 uh, or 30 uh, articles he has published in, in refereed, uh, you know, law journalism. Mm -hmm. Four books. There is few Kenyans who have done that. I don't think there's any Kenyan who has published in journalists what Macau has published. So, Macau can be denied this job, but you have to tell Kenyans that the candidate you have given the job is much qualified. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a huge task. In, yes, he must perform. In your words, you had said that he was in pole position. He was like, no, he's, he's humble. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he's in pole position. I mean, he's a, he's a Mercedes Formula One driver. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, if, 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 if he's a Mercedes Formula One driver, you can't give a Toro Rosso driver. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot. Or Force India, you know. No. Because everybody will say that, you know. I mean, this, I mean you have played the yes. Mercedes Benz. Yes. yes. How many of you published articles? By the time I finished there, I had like, I think 10. 10? Yes. In English? <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh... <laughs> Some are in Somali. <laughs> the other day, Miguna Miguna, Miguna Miguna, he, he refused to acknowledge Makao Mutua, by the way. He says, this man is a joke. You know, I have a lot of respect for the bench, you know. I mean, but you know, people who are jobless, <laughs> don't, don't, don't invite them. And then they become a fixture, a permanent fixture on the bench. I mean, I, I, I will not spend time, you know, disparaging uh, um, uh, Muguna or Muguna. But, you know, I mean, what has he done in life? I mean, he used to disrupt the meetings when uh, Ambassador Maduro organizes. He was, uh, he, was, uh, he was the agent provocateur for, for Raila. And even Raila did not find him useful after two years. If you look at his CV, he has done nothing. I mean, so he used to be governor of Nairobi. Governor of Nairobi, my foot. Uh, how? <laughs> but he's entitled. Let us respect that. Let him run his campaign. Yeah. Let him sell his ideas. Yeah. Uh, I normally vote in uh, in uh, Karen. If I see him on ballot and he can persuade me, yes, I have no problem. By the way, he's both a barrister and a solicitor. Yes, yes. Those are. I mean, uh, those are. I mean, that, that's like saying he's a lawyer. <laughs> I mean, but, but you see, I mean, uh, when Miguna talks about disparaging law, or he talks bad about Professor M M Macau, you know, it's, it's so disrespectful because uh, Macau is a, I don't disagree, I, I don't agree with Macau on so many things, yeah. and I had my own issues with him. But in terms of, uh, his, you know, acknowledge the obvious, you know, mm -hmm. acknowledge his, his intellectual capacity, Correct. his achievements, I mean, uh, 
Macau went to Harvard and uh, Ivy League school, LLM, PhD. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Muguna went to a small university called New York in, uh, I think, Toronto. Yeah. I've been, I passed by some time back when I was there. I mean, it is like, it's like going to Mount Kenya University. <laughs> yes, yes. You did not go there. No, no, no. I, 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 it's I, like MKU. No, no, I've been to Toronto and I know. I mean, if, if you, if you will have gone to Toronto Law School or if you have gone to McGill. Yeah, McGill. Those are good universities. <laughs> but York, York Law School yes. is like Mount Kenya University. I'm telling you. And I know some comparative. I've been to, I've been to an Ivy League school myself. Yeah. I mean, so, You're in Cornell, right? Yes, yes. So yeah. let him respect the professor. Because the professor's credentials yes. are solid. Ha, tell me, Greg, well, how do you say that with a straight face? No, but that's obvious, you know. <laughs> Mullah has spoken. Miguna, are you watching? So he should be a permanent fixture. He can be. I mean, I mean, I have no problem really, but it will it will damage the brand you have built. Yes. I mean, you have built. I mean, many Kenyans, including myself, recognize the bench as a brand. Right. I mean, it's like you know, Larry King life. Thank you. So when you invite Miguna because he has nowhere else to talk about, <laughs> it doesn't do good for your program. So I'm advising you. Yeah. Advi I mean, invite him maybe once a year or every two years once. Right. Uh, but you know, if he comes here every day. Will you invite me to Al Noor TV? Anytime. In what language? The language of your choice. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a quick break, come back, talk about the future. We look forward. Right? No, no. We are, the most important exercise facing the country now is to get a good Chief Justice a good deputy chief justice and a good judge of the supreme court oh that's what grand Mula has spoken keep tweeting at ahmed nasir law at konanga jeff the hashtag rogue justice <laughs> man this man he doesn't spare anybody Woo! jeff can take a lie takes a break we'll be back in a moment <laughs>